Hi, Bryce. How you doing? All right. Uh, I've got, oh, you know what? I wanted to take a look at this. I'm having a blast with these. are great. Isn't this a great assignment? I love this. I still do these all the time. I've been doing these for years, and I still, it's kind of relaxing in a way. So I love it. Yes, I agree. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the illustrations. Now, oh, one thing I would recommend is, is definitely try to post these in your, in the um, body copy. It's just, it's a lot easier for your peers to 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 look at it right within the body copy uh, as opposed to to linking out especially for different downloads so let me see what we have oh we have the original images that's fantastic so let's go ahead and take a look okay one of the things i would recommend is to go back and review the um the videos for the assignment and the reason i say that is because this right here these are not set in your in the template let me show you what i'm talking about uh, one of your classmates jennifer has the templates in place and, and that's great so definitely you want to go through um uh, week six and week seven to take a look at, at the announcements and the tutorials and really go through everything because it, it, it does a great job describing exactly what to do so another example other it, it is that um, you've got this denomination on the stamp, and we don't want that. You don't want a denomination. You want to use the forever denomination. So Forever Iconic American Entertainers isn't the title. The title is Iconic American Entertainers. The denomination for the stamp is forever. Okay, so I want to take a look at the... Okay, I want to take a look at the three illustrations... And, and there's just a couple of things I'll, uh, that I want to I, I mention. We're going to look at all three of them here. If I could get, you know, I don't know if you've noticed, but this new update of uh, Adobe Acrobat is clunky. I, I cannot stand it. I don't know why. I don't know. We've just, just leave, leave the good alone, right? All right, here we are. So um, as you can see how sluggish this is. I mean, okay, there we go. Okay, so I, I think right now you, these are great bones. I mean, each one of these, that looks great. Nice job. Look at the creases. Look at the, look at those creases in that, that headband and the, the tonal variety and the variations right here. The, 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 that's fantastic. Nice job. I was concerned about this piece. I think I mentioned that in one of my critiques, but this is coming along beautifully. Um, so it's just, the, the bones are great. The underlying hard lines are fantastic. In, in these illustrations. I think right now it's just a matter of finessing them. One of the things you have to be really careful with in this assignment is the tonal vari the tonal variety, the variations between the darks and the lights. You want to go really, really easy on that um, because otherwise the, the, these they start looking a little zombie-like, as we can see. And I don't mean this to sound discouraging at all, but we can see right here in the eyes, he's starting to look a little zombie-like. So you really want to lighten up those tones, and there's not a whole lot of variation in the skin tones between the shadows and the highlights. Just enough to indicate shadows and highlights, but not this, this great tonal variation that we see here. Just go really easy on that. This is minimal, too, so you, you may not even need all of those. So really work, work that out. Um, okay, uh, fantastic job saving the saving uh, Johnny Depp, saving uh, uh, Jack Sparrow for last, I see. Save the best for last, right? Can't wait to see that. All right, good job. Any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you.